All right, my last video, I had a lot of people asking me about the killer dock. That's right, folks. We're gonna start off this episode. We're gonna go catch some fish, don't worry about it. But we're gonna talk about killer dock, some of these fish cleaning stations that I have worked with. I'm gonna walk you through them just basically. We're gonna start off with the top of the line, killer dock. That's what I have right now. This is what the guide trips get to enjoy. And it is a stainless steel, absolute piece of art. The detail is unbelievable. Got a lot of questions about it. So I wanted to kind of share with you guys what it looks like and um, talk about it. This is five and a half feet. You have the option to put the drawers on it. I have extra cutting boards in there. Because I don't want to, I want to preserve that as long as I possibly can. This is from one guide trip. So I was like, oh my gosh, if that happens on one guide trip, I need to, you know, and these cutting boards right here, they're like three dollars so whatever um, so you have an option between putting the drawers in there you can do a sink and then you have these accessory trays these accessory trays are awesome you can put your knives there you got a sharpener which is right there you uh, have an inlet for your water that comes through the pipe so it's seamless people don't appreciate that till they use it they're like man that is awesome and then your water goes down this little hole here through that back leg right here and disposes of in the water. It really doesn't get any better. It truly doesn't. And uh, there are options for a lot of these things. Like I said, adding a sink, you can actually add more holes back there for drainage. Um, a lot of things. So check them out. Check out the, uh, the old fish cleaning station. We'll walk over here. We'll make this fast fast forward this to tell we get over there but you can take any countertop that you have like an old building building maybe you're renovating you moved out of take the old countertop out and I'll show you what I got here so this is a fish cleaning station that I put together when I first started three pound fishing actually Got a nice little light source right up here. It's an old Corian, I believe it's called. And it has running water. Does everything you would ever want a fish cleaning station to do. And that was free, other than the labor that it took me to install it, which was free. Um, but like I said, taking an old countertop, you can buy those stainless steel ones even online. I think you probably could even buy them used, but makes it easy, folks. Fish cleaning, gotta make that fun and part of the, don't be cleaning on the back of your tailgate, if you if you can, if you, if you have a place on a lake. Hold on, let me put this ladder up. I haven't been on the water for a couple days now, so we're gonna go out, fish some piles, have a little fun. It's, a, it's late afternoon, beautiful. Well, it's kind of windy. We got storms all around us, but there's nobody on the lake. So we're gonna go out and have some fun and put some fish in the boat. Maybe fish some spots that we haven't fished in a while. So one of the funny things, ever since these gas prices have gone up, I'd like to hear from you guys. Don't you tend to be on the trolling motor a little longer? Like, do you really wanna crank that big boy up? It's gonna cost you money. I can tell you right now, of course, if you haven't been watching, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I'm new to this this uh 300 so what i'm fishing with is the uh, 10 footer ozark rods and the optimal sniping braid and that's their first there it is bam that didn't take long first drop right there and uh and I'm very particular right now about the gumdrop. I like the gumdrop. That's a good starting fish. That's our first guest. Gumdrop's available at threepoundfishing.com. That is a great bait every lake I go to. It's hilarious, but it is. Uh, I can't say that about many, many other baits. Look at this, second drop. These guys are just freaking out. I'm really hoping this is a crappie because he just pushed big time. Yeah, he's a good fish. 
Now this could be one of our picture fishes. Look at that. That's it, folks. Don't get much better than that. I'm gonna take a photo here. But like we do, we let them go. Here we go. This is a beautiful fish. And there he goes. Again, 10 footer, 10 pound. This is the optimal. This is only the four strand. 0 0.10. I can't get away from it because it's just so damn smooth. It's ridiculous. And as long as you're not setting the hook like a maniac, it'll work just great. The Optimize is the beefed up one. It's incredible too. I use it on all the big lakes. If we're gonna catch two and a half pounders, two pounders, that type of stuff, I use it. But for the most part, I always use this guy. 10 pound Ozark rods. I know, I believe they're sold out. It's just a popular rod, man. It's just got great feel. But give them a call, check it out, go to their websites. Ozark Rods has supported three pound fishing for a while now, and I can't say enough good things about them. All right. I will give you some active captain on this, on this video, I decided. Why not? It's going so well. Another drop. See, that's my drop. I manage everything with my left hand, minimizes my tangles. Dropping down to a pile that has some pretty good sized marks on it. Here they come. I play the fish. See how I'm raising it right now? I'm hoping he's gonna commit, and he did commit. And he just, he just touched it. Touched it. And uh, lo and behold, we got ourselves a crappie. Had our first fish fry in a long time this weekend. And I gotta tell you, tasted delicious. My wife actually put me out to a, she said, Matt, go catch some bluegill. So we went and caught some bluegill. I ain't gonna lie, we struggled. Came back with 10 bluegill and none of them were really that big. But those, those were the first fillets that left the plates and they still love, they're only little bitty fillets. So I can't, I'm not gonna brag on my, my bluegill catching ability on this lake. Um, crab orchard, that doesn't matter. I've never really caught big bluegill. I can't even say nothing about it. Um, but my hat's off to the people that catch really big bluegill because I love to go catch some really big bluegill. Um, unfortunately, that usually I means that's guiding time and I'm always guiding, so it's always tough to get away. So I'm gonna give you some active captain real quick. Let's do that. This should be a good pile. Look at those guys. So I'm gonna slow our roll down a little bit. There. We are going to cast into it with this jig and come up short which is perfect look at all of them take off bam that was it very active lost about five fish on that one toss and uh shows you can swim a hair jig <laughs> i think you can swim just about anything right now these guys are these guys are hungry but check that out that's beautiful right there and again i'm trying to stay as way as far as possible unfortunately so many of them take after it and again come up a little short but that's not a bad thing we get some really super aggressive ones here it comes one right here and i'll speed it up i'm keeping it close enough to entice them and then boom i speed it up oh, and i missed that flat out miss on that one no excuse for that one belt them and everything here comes another quick drop though right back at it and there they are <laughs> there it is. There he is. Now, I didn't set the hook crazy hard on that one. Just because the last time they, they kind of fooled me. This is a good fish. All day long, folks. I love it. Just casting, staying off of them. Staying off of them. And, and every pile right now is giving up some good quality fish. I always talk about my guide trips about being efficient with your casting. A lot of people like to get into the habit of casting like 50 feet, <laughs> even though they're only 30 feet away. Look at this guy. Yeah, there he is. And I'm all about, if that pile is 20, coming right down on it, 
right behind it. Not very much though. A lot of these, a lot of people want too much. And then you're wasting time. Instead of fishing, you're waiting. And so, I'd say this is a pretty good active capture video right here. Look at this guy's gonna come off the point. We're gonna go slow and then we're gonna speed it up right here. See how that juiced them up? And then we got them. I think that's what's gonna happen with LiveScope. I think it's happening now. You know, people are learning what those fish are doing and how to react to them. And we'll get one more fish here then. He might have hit it. I missed him if he did. But that's all right. That's fishing. Guide trips are going great. Do me a favor if you're interested. I definitely have a lot of availability in the month of July. So please reach out to me. And uh, we'll get you hooked up. And we'll be on these piles. I missed that one too. I missed that one. He, was, he had it all down his mouth right there. One more fish. Here we go. Come on now. Hit the like button right now. Subscribe. Give me some luck on this one right here. Here he comes. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you guys for subscribing and uh, helping support three pound fishing. All those baits, all those things that I'm doing are supporting the tournament trail. This is the big fish of the day right here, folks. End of this episode, this is it right here. This is about a 14 black. That's a tank. All right, there's a tank. Three guy. Three pound fishing guide service. Check out the baits. It's working. Why would you why would you do anything else? The braid, the pole, the jig. That's a slab. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. We out! Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.